Hi, this is Monk from Team Liquid, and I'm here with EG's Huck at IEM New York at Comic-Con. Now, Huck, uh, you've been uh, hitting a bit of a revival lately. Uh, why do you think you've done so well lately? Did you intend to do that? I don't know. What, what, do what? I lost to revival. Oh, I, I, didn't, I didn't know. Sorry. <laughs> no, I was just kidding. It's oh, okay. okay. Uh, I'm terribly sorry. No, no, about it's it. okay. I'm just... Uh, what was the question? I you've been hitting a revival, so Am like I the past. No, no, no. Like you've been you've been doing well lately oh. in the last few couple of months compared to before, Besides right? This. Besides this, yeah, yeah you qualify. <laughs> Where you lost a revival? Oh, sorry no, about that again. But um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you you qualified for WCSAM. Yeah. Uh, you're in the round of 16. You're going to LA after this, right? Yeah. So yeah, why why do you what do you attribute to all of this? Hard work and uh, staying in school, not doing drugs, uh, eating healthily, exercising, don't do drugs. That's good advice. So, but I don't think you're actually following that advice because are you in school right now? No, I'm not. So you don't actually... It's just, it's just hard work and then uh, I've been working hard for like maybe, well, decently hard for like four or five months now so now it's finally catching up to me and doing well. And uh, when I had my big slump, I wasn't as practicing as much as I should have. And generally speaking, I think StarCraft II results are delayed. So if you practice really hard for six months, usually you'll see the fruit of that labor like a few months after you do it, not necessarily while you're practicing. So just, just practicing normally and, I don't know, chilling. Okay. Yeah, I think a lot of players have said that, that um, like when they go to a career, whoa. What's up with him? Uh, but he's uh, a jokester. Uh, he's a jokester. Yeah. Uh, we'll talk about him later. But okay. uh, but uh, a lot of players have said that when you go to Korea, sometimes like the res like and you practice really hard, the results are delayed by a couple of months, right? Yeah. So you've posted before about um, how you when you play your own style, you tend to play better, right? And for some time, you were trying to emulate the like the top Koreans doing like rain s standard play, but. Uh, do you think uh, you're going back to more of your own stuff right now, and do you think it's helping or not? Uh, I think finding a healthy balance is the best thing. Uh, when I try to copy build orders exactly how they are, it I can't I can't uh, take the small risk that I usually take in my play to gain an advantage. And when I just do my own style and I just do whatever I want, it's like too chaotic and not go to like it just doesn't make sense a lot of the time. So. Watching VODs or watching uh, people play live and then taking things that I like from their play but not copying or like trying to emulate their build orders. Just taking things I like and then adding it into my play I think is the best way to do it for me. So that's what I've been trying to do. Uh, I mean, it depends what it is. Like if it's like a very easy cheesy proxy build or something like that's easy I just copy the build order but like stylistic things like partying sell it uh, high Templar warp prism drop and like uh, PVT or uh, a mortal heavy PV PVZ style like SOS does or that kind of stuff I just I just take little tidbits from different players and try to you know put it into my own play okay so uh, Carmack just bumped into us has he, has he been bothering you all week no uh, I like Carmack generally we just joke around and have fun so no, not really. I heard uh, you lifted him today. Today? Yesterday. Yesterday? Are you really that strong? I don't know. It's easy when someone lets you lift them, I guess. I mean, he's, he's quite a bit heavier than me, but... Do you do any, like, exercise, working out? No? No. So you're just naturally just really strong. Well, I, like, played football my whole life and wrestled in high school and stuff and played football in high school, so, I mean... I think I have like a good core strength, but as far as like actually exercising lately, no. So uh, how did this tournament go for you, IEM? You uh, you you've been, you hit a bit of a revival, right? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't too good. Uh, I played okay-ish, not super great. Um, I definitely could have played better. I think I wasn't too focused on this. I like prepared really hard for 4GG, watched a lot of his VODs, and then when he got switched out, I was kind of bummed out. And uh, I didn't know I was playing SOS first. I don't know, just, I didn't play good. I didn't play as good as I should have, so I lost. And it's not, it's not such a big deal for me just because I have WCS right after. In one of the games against Revival, I think the last one, um, he, he was attacking you with swarm hosts, and uh, I felt like, 
like your army come kind of bumbled around. Can you, can you describe what happened there? I actually complained right after. I was talking to Desro. It felt like a lot of my clicks weren't registering because like I put down a second robo and then it didn't register and then I got range and it didn't register and then like I sent my group of immortal stalker sentries north and then they just like walked into his units when I try to click my control group, my stalkers and move them and then it happened like five or six times. So like I didn't like complain to the admins or do anything like official. I just like kind of talked to Desro about it. I was like, it felt like really weird because there was like not just one or two things. It was like a lot of times it was like this, like my, like it's the clicks are just not registering. And then I talked to, I can't remember who it was, but apparently uh, I might have had Life's PC and Life said the same thing earlier. Like he said that his mouse didn't feel like it was working. Like a lot of the times when he was clicking, it wasn't working. So, I mean, I don't know if that was it or I just was playing really, really, really bad and I wasn't clicking what I was thought I was, but uh, it's too late now. I'm not gonna like, there's nothing you can do. So I don't just move on. Uh, I think San also had that PC. So you might want to talk to him about that later. But I'm moving on to W6AM, or it's going to be next week, right, in LA. You're in a group with uh, Bjorn, Polt, and Apocalypse. Um, did you practice for that at all, or have you been mostly focusing on this tournament? Um, I practiced for it. I mean, I just laddered. I didn't practice any specific things. Uh, I watched like most of all their VODs as much as I could. Like, Bjorn hasn't had that many games, so I didn't watch a lot of his. Uh, Apocalypse doesn't really have that many VODs either. And Polt plays pretty, like, he mixes it up. But either way, I like kind of study, and it just—I th- I'm pretty confident going into it. I think I should be able to get out of the group. Okay. So more about uh, personal things. Are you seeing anyone right now? Uh, yes, but I'm not gonna say who. Okay. Well, if you're not gonna say, could you could you describe to me what your ideal girl would be like? Um, pretty or cute. Um, I don't care like an extreme amount of looks, but uh, there has to be some attraction there. Smart, uh, not selfish, uh, intelligent, uh, caring. Um, I guess that's it. Just a good person. I really dislike shitty people, and there's a lot of shitty people in the world, so yeah. I, I agree with you. I also hate shitty people. That's probably my number one uh, rule or mantra, I guess. But uh, would you say the girl that you're currently dating is, is, is like that? Yes. I would say she's like that. Not shitty, I mean the, the good things, yeah. Would, 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 she, would she complain like if she saw this interview and, and you, you said that she wasn't like that? Probably not. I don't know. Hopefully she doesn't see the interview, I guess. I don't know. You don't think she reads TL? <laughs> I have no comment. I, I, she probably, you know, watches my interviews maybe from time to time. But you don't think she reads TL regularly? I don't. <laughs> okay, so, so th- this is these are clues as to who Huck's girlfriend might be. She doesn't read TL apparently. Wow. So I think. Uh, do you have anything else you want to say? Uh, shout out to my sponsors. They're on the jacket. And that's it. Yeah. Family, friends, TL guys. Hopefully we go to Shake Shack tonight. I don't know if you're coming. Uh, I, I didn't hear about that. But I did hear, I did hear about people talking about Shake Shack. Well, but, uh, we're going. So oh. Thanks. Thanks for inviting me. Uh, this has been Monk from Team Liquid interviewing E.G. Huck. Have a good day.